What is up guys, it is Robert of Movies with me, and welcome to the Godzilla vs. Kong movie review. This review will not have any spoilers, just to let you know. This movie was directed by Adam Wingard and stars Godzilla, King Kong, you know the deal. I know what you're thinking, wait, what about the actors? Man, you're in it for Godzilla and Kong, and goddammit, they star in this movie. <laughs> Also in the movie, you got Ethan Gonzalez, you got Alexander Skarsgård, you got a, a, a decent amount of people, a lot more, of course. Now, I didn't like Godzilla, King of Monsters, right? I didn't like that movie at all. I, did, I think I actually reviewed that movie on here. Um, if I didn't, I thought it was pretty bad. I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island, though, like a lot. I, I, I thought it was like a great movie. It was super entertaining to me. Godzilla vs. Kong is... Probably my favorite out of the four movies that are released in this Godzilla uh, King Kong universe. I really enjoyed it. I had a blast with it, honestly. First and foremost, I saw this in an IMAX theater and the bass was going crazy every single second. Every time Kong or Godzilla was on screen, which is a genuine lot of time in this movie, which is great. Uh, you're always hearing the bass go crazy. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> like, it, it's great and I loved it. <laughs> This is to me like a movie that you want to see on the biggest screen possible with the loudest sound system. With You know, it, it is just perfect for that type of movie. Let's just get this out of the way. Millie Bobby Brown is in this movie and has this side plot that is just unneeded. It is unneeded, truly. And I, it's so weird that monster movies, we have so many of them and people still don't get that we don't need a lot of human stuff. The humans that were all over Godzilla and Kong, when when uh, uh, especially in Kong's part, I think we're fine. I think it worked. You know, there's this little girl who uh, does like sign language to, to Kong and stuff, and and I quite enjoyed all those sections. I think they fit fine. There was no intrusiveness. The little girl's name is actually called Kaylee Hoddle, which is hey, she's actually deaf, which is impressive that they actually got someone that's deaf to do a deaf scene. Which uh, I'm glad. That's awesome. I'm not going to say exactly what uh, uh, the humans' roles were in this movie because I legitimately did wa didn't watch a trailer, so I don't know what's in it. Um, but the characters just don't really need to be there, especially when it comes to Millie Bobby Brown and the gang over there. They don't need to. They do something at the end that I'm just like, yeah, they didn't need to do that. Like, come on, man. They, they don't need to. And once you say it, you're going to be like, yeah, they didn't need to do any of that, like, at all. The whole human section with Millie Bobby Brown and two others is the most disjointed part of the whole film, and it is just it just doesn't make sense to me. Like they play a lot of stuff for comedic purposes on that section. There are a decent amount of points in the movie where events are kind of just stitched together through a script, not through you know a flow of events, but just hey, we need to get this character to this character. Let's just stitch them together, you know, <laughs> and it doesn't quite work. And uh, especially for Millie Bobby Brown's in the gang's part, mostly that, there's a few, especially in the early beginning with like Kong, where it's just like, all right, well, I would like to know how they got him there. <laughs> but for the most part, they're not on screen for at least, at least I felt they weren't on screen for too long, the whole human section. But when it came to Kong and the humans and, you know, uh, helping him out, I thought it was quite good. I thought it was quite good. And there's a world that you explore that is genuinely really cool. And, you know, super sci-fi that was up my alley that I was, I was really enjoying. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I don't, again, I don't know if this is in the trailer, but this world is cool. So you travel to some interesting locations in this movie. But how is the title of the movie, Godzilla vs. Kong? Well, it is awesome. I'm surprised. I feel like there's a lot of Godzilla vs. Kong in this movie. I generally figure that, you know, you're going to have a lot of people talking about stuff that you really don't care about because in the all reality, it doesn't quite make sense. And then you have Godzilla vs. Kong at the very finale. No, you get him. You, you get him a decent amount of times in this movie, man. I feel like Kong or Godzilla are on screen for majority of the time, which is awesome. That's what you want to see there for, you know? And it works, and I really like how they treated both characters. Kong has a personality. Kong generally has a personality. So does Godzilla. And I really like that a lot. I think they did a great job at that. And when it came to Bastion and all the action, oh my god, it was great. It was great. One thing that I truly loved is that you could see what was going on. One of my biggest complaints about Godzilla, King of Monsters, 
I feel like a lot of it was shot in the nighttime and in real dark and the the way they had the camera set up it was not good at all a lot of action scenes were super up close you couldn't quite see as much as you wanted to it just wasn't very good but Godzilla vs Kong gets you in the action but it lets you see the action in, in, in these full shots where you see two behemoths just absolutely decking each other. <laughs> and it is really good. Very happily, a lot of it is shot in broad daylight. So you get to see the beauty of Kong and the beauty of Godzilla just absolutely smashing into each other. And whether it be buildings in the water, like they go at each other for so many times and for so long. And I actually was so happy about that. I, I'm very happy that they, you know, they understood what the movie was. I feel like the director understood what this movie needed to be, and they did a pretty damn good job at it. I thought they did a great job at it, actually. If they could just remove some of uh, the one side plot with Millie Bobby Brown and the two others, yeah, it would have been even better. But with that, you know, you get a little bit more disjointedness. A lot of, okay, they, they got there by doing that. How? Okay, whatever. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, it still doesn't make sense, but when it comes down to the Godzilla vs. Kong action scenes and the grand finale, the grand finale is quite nice. You have such a great action movie that I, I think it's definitely well worth watching for sure. Overall, I'm going to give Godzilla vs. Kong an 8 out of 10. I thought it was great, man. I genuinely did. It. I had a ton of fun. Like I was not bored at any point. I thought the pacing was quite good for this movie. You know, again, it could have been off with when it comes to humans, but when it comes to Kong side, specifically Kong side, you know, I think they worked well with him. But when it comes to, I guess you could say more Godzilla side in terms of, uh, uh, again, Millie Bobby Brown, I keep bringing her up, and the two people, yeah, no, that that uh, was unneeded, unneeded, super unneeded, because all that is just. Uh, Pure, you know, script writing, getting them into places that doesn't really make sense how they even got into locations. But overall, it was a blast. You know, it's less than two hours and it goes by quite quick. You know, um, Godzilla and Kong are on the screen for many, many minutes in the movie, which I'm very, very happy about. Got to give huge credit to the CGI crew. CGI crew did a hell of a job. And I I think, you know, it was a solid production, man. God, Godzilla vs. Kong. I was not expecting it to be uh, this good. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was great, man. I had a great time with it. It was a fun time at the theater. It knew exactly what it was trying to be, Godzilla versus Kong, and it was that for very most of the part. Most of the part, it generally nailed it. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Have you watched Godzilla vs. Kong? Did you like it? Did you not like it? No, I mean, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Click the subscribe button, by the way. Please. Peace. Bask in that glory. Hoping that one day is way before 40. Cause by then, I'll be halfway to death and way more boring. Have a place that's four stories. I may be trying to break in the game, but I ain't toying. Get buzzed. Be like, forget about next year. Barely enough, forget about that fucking future fear. Tomorrow's the headlights, and I'm that fucking deer. Feeling loony when I'm writing these.